What's up guys, today I got a little bit of a special video. We're gonna be not only testing three different rounds, it's gonna be the same round, but in three different calibers. It's not really a this versus this, but we're gonna be comparing three different calibers. Caliber is gonna be nine by 19 or nine millimeter, 40 Smith and Wesson and 45. Now today we're gonna be testing the HST series in these three calibers. Um, what a lot of people do is they get a lighter grain bullet in the 40, a uh, heavier grain bullet in the nine or vice versa. And I just don't think that's fair. So I went ahead and I went with the heaviest grain in each caliber that HST offers or federal offers. So we got the nine millimeter, 147 grain, 40 Smith and Wesson, 180 grain, and the 230 grain and 45 auto. We're gonna be testing this in 10% ordnance gel made by Clear Ballistics. Of course, it's a little bit dirty, but it's still gonna come in pretty, pretty dang precise going to be testing this with our knockoff calipers hornady scale we're going to be weighing the bullets we're going to be doing a five shot average with our pro chrono dlx and of course we're going to read and measure the what i call the impact velocity when we go to shoot the block to see what that exact bullet is doing we're going to be using a glock 22 generation 5 my buddy's generation 4 glock 21 and 45 and then we have mine my Glock 17 Gen 5. Again, I always have lights on mine, but either or, let's go ahead and get shooting. This is a Glock 17, 4.49 inch barrel, 147 grain HST. Glock 22, 40 Smith & Wesson, 4.49 inch barrel, 180 gram Federal HST. Glock 21, 4.61 inch barrel, 230 gram federal HST again from 10 feet. All right, guys, now that we got the five shot averages out the way, we're going to go ahead and get to the good stuff. Again, we're gonna be shooting through 10% ordnance gel by Clear Ballistics. We're gonna be shooting through one layer of fleece material, one layer of t-shirt material. Again, this is so I could keep it real realistic because I just don't see people wearing four layers of denim. Again, if it goes through and expands through four layers of denim, it has passed the test tremendously. But again, I'm just trying to keep it realistic. Again, we're using the Glock 17, Glock 22, and Glock 21 all same size barrel lengths other than glock 21 is just a little bit bigger but i don't see it making such a, a big difference we're going to be measuring the impact velocity again with our pro chrono dlx so let's go ahead and get started the glock 17 4.49 inch barrel 147 grain federal hst from 10 feet glock 22 4.49 inch barrel, 180 gram federal HST from 10 feet. The Glock 21, 4.61 inch barrel, 230 gram federal HST again from 10 feet. Second attempt. The Glock 21, 4.61 inch barrel, 230 gram Federal HST again from 10 feet. All right, guys, so as you can see, phenomenal results, of course. That's going to come from anything made by Federal ends in HST. Uh, as you can see, all three rounds, well, one I accidentally placed in correctly and it traveled downwards. That's going to be the 45. But I ended up and I made a four shot with that 45. But as you can see, all rounds stopped in the block. Of course, past 12 foot minimum or 12 inches minimum. Furthest one, which is going to be the, I believe it's going to be the nine millimeter, traveled to about, I want to say 
16, maybe 15 and three quarter, bounced back to about 15 and a quarter. 45, that of course stopped, it didn't bounce any, stopped at 14 inches. Uh, 40, stopped at about, looks like it bounced back just a hair. Stopped at about 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half easily. Uh, I'm just not seeing anything spectacular coming from one round over the other. Uh, I'm not saying 45 isn't better than 9. I'm not saying 9 is better than 45. And of course, throw 40 in the mix. It's really, at the end of the day, it's whatever round you shoot best with is going to be the round you need to carry. So let's go ahead and take these bullets out. Go ahead and pull them. Weigh them, measure them. 